Hey guys, it's me Brianna and this is going to be another makeup tutorial. It is almost springtime, not quite, but almost, which means it's time to start throwing out some of those bright, vibrant colors that I absolutely love. Spring's one of my favorite seasons. So this is a very soft makeup tutorial. The look is inspired by some spring weddings I will be attending in a few months. And this is to me is a really great look you can wear to a wedding. Um, very, very pretty and wearable but not like super crazy if you have not been updated with my channel I do have a giveaway going on right now I'll provide that link down below I think the giveaway will close another week so go ahead and enter the giveaway in order to get some free stuff you never know you might win so if you're interested in this tutorial then I will continue to watch Okay guys, so springtime near you, definitely make sure you are exfoliating your skin and cleaning it thoroughly. I am cleaning my face using my spin brush with a little bit of Neutrogena face wash, applying this all over my face. I do have a coupon code down below for this spin brush, so I'll provide that link down below if you're interested in saving a little bit of money with this spin brush. Now I'm just going to lightly pat my face to dry and use a little bit of moisturizer lotion. Now I'm just going to fill in my brows. As most of you know, I am letting my eyebrows grow back, which is why they look so crazy. So yeah, you guys have seen me fill in my brows many times. So I'm going to skip this part. Now I'm taking this color corrector, and it's in the color dark. I got this from the hair store, so I'm not sure the brand because it doesn't have a brand on it. Um, but any concealer will do. And I'm just applying that to my eye. I am making sure to apply this above my crease. taking this eyeshadow from Coastal Scents and this color is called Oatmeal Tan. We're going to apply this color a little bit above our crease. It's going to serve as a transition color. You don't need this color. You can actually apply a face powder um, as a transition color. It really doesn't matter um, as long as it's a shadow that's similar to your complexion. So I'm just going to take that shadow and I'm going to apply that a little bit above my crease and windshield wiper motions. Now I'm going to take this shadow from Colourpop, it's called Lunch Money. This is what it looks like, it's a very shimmery white shadow and I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my lid. And this is a really easy eye look so you can pretty much wear this anywhere. You can wear this to work, you can wear this out and about, you can wear this on a lunch date. Or you can wear it to a wedding. Your life is anything like my life. You have been invited to millions and millions of weddings this spring. This is a great spring wedding makeup tutorial that you can apply. So now that we have applied that to our lid, I'm going to take this Ghost of Scent shadow and it's called Deep Roast. And I'm going to apply this color a little bit above our crease. And you just want to keep blending until you get the pigment that you want. It's okay to build. I always recommend building your shadows because you can always apply more. And when you build your shadows, it does give more of a gradient effect. So I definitely say blend until you get the amount of color that you want. So now that we have this super simple eye look, I'm going to go ahead and line my lid. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply my Vegas Nay Eye Lure Lashes and this is in Grand Glamour and this is what the lash looks like right here. If you guys can even see that. And I'm going to go ahead and apply these lashes off camera because these lashes are so hard to apply that I have to apply them off camera. Okay, now I'm going to take this NYX Conceal Correct Contour Palette, taking this orange color inside and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that on this enormous pimple on my forehead that will not let me be great like seriously I'm just dabbing it in just take some of that color out of it 
Perfect Face by Shanta Sheriff. If you do not know who that is, that is the makeup artist for Taraji on one of the best shows ever, Empire. She has a foundation and contour sticks. They are absolutely amazing. I have these in my kit because um, they're super fast. And I think I'm in the color dark. So I'm just going to go ahead and take it. I'm taking the concealer part and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that underneath my eye. So I like to take cream based concealers and this is a cream base by the way if you don't know that and I like to use my fingers first. Creams work off temperatures so if you warm it up with your finger it allows it to spread a little easier. Now I'm taking the other side of this and it's the contour side. And I'm going to go ahead and contour my face. And with cream foundations, concealers, contours, you always want to set everything with the powder is going to help prevent it from moving so I'm going to take the other side of my beauty blender this side was where I did my concealer this side is where I did my contour so I have one extra clean side I'm going to go ahead and apply all of my powders with that taking my sleek contour kit I'm going to go ahead and apply my contour shade I'm going to go in with some blush. I am using Be A Bombshell Cosmetics and it's in the color Beach Please. I'm then going in with Model Co. And this is a shimmery blush, like a highlighter. And I'm going to apply this on top of that pink blush I just applied. Now I'm going to take this shimmery eyeshadow called Reincarnation by LYD and it's a very pretty shimmery white with like iridescent pink sparkles. I'm just going to take this and apply this to my lower lash line. I'm taking this black liner and I'm going to line halfway on my waterline. Now on that same brush we used to apply that shadow, let's go ahead and smudge out that black. It's Mega Lash by Wet n Wild. I absolutely love this mascara for my bottom lashes and it's less than $5 so it's pretty sweet mascara. Okay. For the lipstick, we're going to do something a little nice, a little bold, a little bright. We're going to use Queenie Skin and Cosmetics lip, Liquid Lipstick, and it's in the color Rival. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I didn't really keep it like all like lively and playful. I don't know. Sometimes I'm boring. I know you guys were asking me to do like some story times and some vlogs. You guys have been asking me to do vlog videos and I just never do them. I just, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about taking my camera all over the place as I go places. That's just me personally. But I may do a story time. I just need to figure out what story I can tell because I have a very, very mild introverted life. So we'll see. 
Anyway, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Thumbs up this video. Comment down below for any questions or comments. I love reading you guys' comments. And of course, I'll talk to you guys later. Stay healthy, happy, beautiful, blessed. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Love ya. Bye.